Hi, Dawn Stensland Menti with the Zika virus in the headlines. The CDC and the World Health Organization are declaring emergency alerts and travel warnings. So here's what you need to know. Carnival's colorful costumes and music filled the streets and drew millions of visitors to Brazil this week. You'd never know this is the Zika epicenter with the World Health Organization declaring a global health emergency. With an estimated 1.5 million people infected in Brazil, new polls show two thirds of all Americans are concerned about the growing reported cases in the United States. This is not a disease that's going to make most of us sick. And it's not a severe disease. The reason we are so concerned has to do with the tremendous impact on a very select group, which are pregnant women. But for everybody else, you're not at risk for contracting this from your friends and neighbors and even your household contacts. The virus just isn't transmitted that way. And even if you were to acquire the virus, you're not going to get very ill. The Zika virus was first detected in Brazil in May of 2015. The virus has circulated across Africa and Asia since the 1940s, but it's new to the Western Hemisphere. Zika virus is blamed for causing microcephaly in some 4,000 newborn babies across South America. The birth defects include abnormally small heads and brain damage. Pregnant women or those who hope to become mothers this year are warned not to travel to Zika zones. We're trying to be proactive in preventing pregnant women from getting infected with Zika. Um, the virus itself doesn't cause them any harm, but it could harm their baby. Latin America is declaring war on the Asian tiger mosquitoes that transmit the Zika virus to humans. We're learning now about potential for sexual transmission of somebody who is acutely infected with Zika to their sexual partner. And so theoretically, a pregnant woman could become infected by somebody who had just returned from an area where the Zika virus is found, even if they themselves have not gone there. For the latest on Zika virus, you can go to cdc.gov. I'm Dawn Stenzel for another thing up next, Larry's commentary.